boy, cause I got a man. Taylor made just for this fit, I'm gon' cut the slack. I'm the man, good hearted, shorty with me, acting bad. Shout out to man that done tightened up since they became a dad. Shout out to me. Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of the Cobain Report. I am Rock Cobain. This is female. Caesar's out of town, but guess who's home? She's here again. <laughs> Gigi is here with us, our season regular. Today we have two awesome guests. I am not going to waste time because we need all the time for both of these women, okay? T Mail, go ahead and get the metros. All right, we are in the presence of a queen born and raised on the west side of Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> A gospel heavyweight who is the lead member of a super quartet, Akita Steen and Fire. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Akita Steen. Yeah! Welcome to the report! (laughs) And we have another special gospel queen here and another uh, songtress in the gospel world. You might see her in Jesus Sandals. You can check her (laughs) projects out. You can check her projects out, Revival Part 1 and The Well. The one and the only, Kara Daffin. Yeah, Kara! <laughs> Kara, welcome Kira. to the Cobain Report. What's up? I'm, really, I'm excited to be here. Man. I love this. I'm nice. so glad nice. to have both of you guys here. Two women who mean a lot to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I've grown up with both of them in different ways mm-hmm. individually. I went to middle school, Joy Middle School Joy with Kara. And she, on the east side. East side, baby. Say, like, no. Nah. They try to clown me because I'm west side. <laughs> just a little bit. I just said I'm west so sorry. Man. West side. And she. Uh, has, <laughs> you all you get the first you. X of the day. Y'all all gonna bang so, on me. He in west side of the hood. Love he, you. He, he, he's like, like, west side. I like the west side. No, I'm split. He, oh, he, 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 so, he from, so look, he from the east side, but okay. moved lived in the west, south field uh, majority. Yeah, yeah. So well, listen, south field is like, east side like, like I was Old saying, girl, I went yeah. to school with, with Kira, and mm-hmm. she was a very talented person while we were in middle school. Um, she did modern dance, and oh. she really was one of the like leaders of the modern dance. So I remember all of this growing up mm-hmm. and watching her transition into where she is now, Akita Steen Smith. I grew up with in church, mm. mm-hmm. watching her with her father and her legacy and her family, watching her serve and watching her work with her father throughout the years. I remember being probably in my early 20s going over there and saying, Walter Allen Steen, <laughs> tear up the east side. Calvary. Calvary. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have two legendary women who mean a lot to me, and that's why um, they are on the Cobain Report. You know, I bring only special guests. You don't have to be the biggest guest, but you have to be special. You feel me? So we are in the room with greatness today. Um, we're going to go ahead and let T-Mail get into it because I know he keep looking over here. I feel like he's he burning my face. Go ahead with your conversation. <laughs> no, so we're going we gonna to get started. And you said... Kira. Kira, Kira I said yes. it wrong. So sorry. It's okay. You said, so Kira, tell us, like, how did you go about getting started in the gospel music you know what were you doing before and what led you into doing gospel music? oh i actually wasn't interested in like i've i've sang all my life with my family with my sisters i grew up in rehearsals you know my mom sang and but singing wasn't like my first love at first i, I used to be terrified petrified to like sing in front of people so I like would do things like dancing and trying to be in plays and do other things to kind of scratch that creative itch but um I think um I'm a PK too so once my parents started a church and you know how it go you gonna leave worship you gonna clean the bathroom right, you gonna right. pick up okay. a mother so and so you gonna do everything yes. and this one particular Sunday somebody couldn't make it and I ended up leading worship um, and I was just like, oh man, that was that was something I didn't expect mm-hmm. to love. You know, yeah. it caught me off guard. I've always loved singing. I always yes. loved writing, but I I didn't care to be in the forefront of mm-hmm. all of those things. I'm like, that worship got a hold to that. It got a hold. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I, can't I was like, this is kind of crazy. Worship got a 